Ubla Lotak, Conwick Pizzi. Today is Tuesday. What day? All day. Let's be responsible. Always try. Do our best. Cooperate with others. And let's treat everyone with respect, including ourselves. The big topic for today. Drum roll. Thank you, Big Boss, for that. Today's big topic is empathy. So, the first thing that comes to mind is, what is empathy? So, in words, we feel empathy when we place ourselves into someone else's position. This helps to us to understand and comprehend their emotions and feelings. Now, let's think back. We've spent a couple assemblies talking about mere neurons. And remember what happens when someone smiles at us? I look at that big smile Frighteners giving us. Why? It puts a great big smile on the alerter's face too. Now, Think about when someone smiles at you. Does that usually make do you usually smile back? Does that give you that cheerful feeling? Why don't we take this time again? Look at someone near you, give them a nice big smile. How does that make you feel? I bet it made you feel cheerful. Let's try another example so we can get a better idea of what empathy is. So first things first, I'm gonna ask for a volunteer. Do I have any volunteers? Raise a hands, let's see. Ah yes, Angernator, thank you for volunteering. Now, in our minds, let's imagine a bicycle. And just like that, we have a bike. Now, Angernator climbs onto the bike. And we begin our example. So the Angernator's minding his own business, slowly biking down the road, when all of a sudden, a vicious dog with a lizard riding its back appears. The Angernator pedals faster and faster, but to no avail, the dog slowly catches up Fear increases before you know it. The dog grabs the bike and with one mighty throat tosses the Ingernator off the screen and then chases after him. So have you ever been somewhere where you've been scared or you've seen something happen to someone and you knew they were scared and that made you scared? Well, that's an example of empathy. You were able to place yourself in someone else's position and understand their feelings and emotions. So for now, I'll leave it at this. And tomorrow, we'll build on empathy even more. Everyone, I hope you have a terrific Tuesday.